Okay, so today we are going to review the 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. And this is my personal favorite hatchback ever made. And I'll show you the reasons why. And so let's get into this. Of course, first, we're going to be talking about the specs like usual. This car is powered by a 1.6 liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine that produces a pretty astounding 300 horsepower and uh not too bad 273 pound feet of torque and also it is a zero to 60 in a whopping 4.9 seconds with a top speed of a pretty legit 143 miles per hour and so, for those who don't know, this is probably one of the most radical and, in my opinion, most beautiful hatchbacks ever made. And so, now that I've told you guys about the specs, let's get into the design features. So, first thing I want to show you guys is these lights, like I usually do. These beautiful lights, they come from like strips and sharply go down and in slice up and i feel like toyota was so good at making this car just look aggressive and like just make it look super radical because if you look from the front of this car it just looks so aggressive it reminds me of a mad cat like a cat that's really mad about something and it's so cool and yeah you have your fog lights right here, your nice little circular fog lights. This beautifully designed grill that feeds engines that, that, I mean, that feeds air to that little monster of an engine. And yeah, you have GR right there, Toyota, and you have some little air intakes integrated into the sides of the Toyota symbol. And I'm really excited to show you guys the back because there's something that is really unusual back there so let me show you and if you guys are wondering what it is you guys have just noticed it has three exhausts and yes i'm talking three exhaust pipes one right here one right here and one right there which is pretty crazy i have never seen another car with an exhaust pipe setup like this you have one large exhaust pipe in the middle and two smaller ones and this back it looks like a rwb porsche or something like that it's like wide body style and this is like super radical it's almost like you you can't have words for it because this hatchback is so crazy and so yeah also you have the like in mercedes oh actually no the toilet symbol doesn't have an integrated uh handle to lift back up like most of them but yeah, you have these also slanted lights right here, these sharp looking lights that are practically repeats of the front lights, but they're just in red styling, which makes them super cool too. And also, I want to show you guys, there's these aftermarket mud things, and it makes it look even more radical and racy style. And every little detail Toyota goes into, it's so cool. Like, look. They, you have this little piece right here like seriously i don't know what this could possibly be for, be for but if you just look at the car it is so much detail put into it and also let me show you these wheels look at these really cool wheels they're like the blades of an airplane it looks like with these cool little gr brakes and yeah the five bolt setup you have gr and then this little uh, thing to let the air go out of that little monster engine the air could be fed out of that so more air could come in and make it even more powerful and also i want to show you guys this is probably my favorite part about the exterior of this car just check out the side right here how it is crafted it's like a clay model how beautifully it's crafted look at this back look at all these intricate and beautiful lions in this wide body styling right here like seriously just this thing right here just these wheels and this wide body styling makes the car look 
just unbelievable. You have GR4 right here, and I'm not sure what that means because this doesn't have a four-cylinder engine. But these little side skirts, which are really neat too. And yeah, I also, I also want to come to the back here and show you guys this wing. You have this cool little wing back here too. You have this cool little wing right here, which is neatly integrated into the body of this car. I'm gonna see if I could figure out a way to open this way. Oh, no, I don't know how to open the trunk. But yeah, you had these little diffusers back here. And I'm seriously, this car is just so crazy. Like so radical and beautiful that I don't have words for it. Like seriously, I think this car is as well is more beautiful than any other. Uh, like more beautiful than some sports cars I've seen even. Like the Toyota GR86. In my opinion, this is ten times more beautiful. It's just my opinion. I don't know what your guys' is, but I think this is just one crazy car. And so now that I believe we've talked about most of the exterior design details, let's get into the inside of this car. The doors are nice and simple, pretty large doors. Let's sit in here. The steering wheel is really nice. I like it more. It looks like a racy styling. I like this a lot. It's mini circular. You have your lock right here and it's quite simple you have this little area coming across here which is beautifully designed for you to grab on there not overly too much space but yeah and also for any super fans you guys will just notice like right now as soon as i show you hey wait isn't that the toyota super seats and you guys will be right these seats look like they've been taken right off of a Toyota Supra, and they probably have. But I love Toyota Supra seats, and so I definitely love these seats. It's really neat. GR, and you have this race tech styling. This gear shifter that I love a lot. I like the circle run because you could grip it so easy, and it's not all hard to grip. There's a clicking whenever I press this. I don't know why it's coming on. Hmm. Yeah, that's strange, but that's not coming on. I was going to check that out. But you have your handbrake, the push track. I'm not sure what that's for either. If you want to also, a cool thing, if you want to charge your phone right here, you just take the case off and lay it right there, which is really neat. And overall, I just feel like this would be a really nice budget sports car, in my opinion, because it is quick, it's light, it could fit five people pretty legit, as I'm going to show you guys right now, and overall, it's a Toyota, and Toyotas are reliable, they're nice, all that stuff, so, in my opinion, this is a good buy, if you want to be able to haul the, the couple kids, and like a family i think this would be a not bad pick unless you have four plus kids then you won't be able to fit them but just for any family this is a pretty good pick in my opinion and so yeah you also here i want to show you this you have this little area right here to stow away your stuff which is nice and it's really nice the way there's this leather type stitching across the side i rarely see actual leather on the dashboard of cars i don't know if this, if this is real but it's pretty neat and so now that i've checked out these front seats let's get into the back seats of this car so now we're in the back seats of the gr corolla the new gr corolla and it's actually quite nice back here there's a legit amount of space let's test out the seat belts it's like my car wow sound check for their own reviews. Seat belts are pretty nice. They're not bad. The seats are pretty good sized. I like the way this sticks out so it's a perfect armrest right here. You have your little cup holder. And overall, these doors, like this is a really little door. Like look at how little this door is. It's like 
is big on top and a little at the bottom. And so let's check out the middle seat and let's test it out. This middle seat, I think it could fit someone my age perfectly fine. I mean, you could definitely fit uh, teenagers or grown-ups in these side seats and a kid back here. So five people could definitely sit in this car and they'd be quite comfortable too. It isn't the, like, it isn't like really cramped or anything like that. And overall, I like this car because it's just so simple. It's simple. Like, you could drive it every day, but then if you want to go on a racetrack or, like, something like that, this is a quick little car. And so, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. We're also going to be revving this car up. Well, not me, but we're going to have it revved up. And so, let's do that. Okay, I hope you liked this video. Remember to like and subscribe to Zeron Reviews, and see y'all next time.